the state of Punjab. We took a drive right into its heart and soul, deep into the interior villages. We were dumbstruck by the beauty of the green fields. All through our journey, we had noticed several blue-colored equipment in white cages right below water tanks. We explored. We learned that these are community water purifiers installed at 97 locations across Punjab in capacities ranging from 25 KLD to 1000 KLD. Based on state-of-the-art nanotechnology, it removes iron and arsenic from water without electricity. It delivers pure water conforming to all quality standards at an insignificant cost of 2.5 paise per litre. We tasted this water and let me tell you, it tasted so pure. This water purifier incidentally is called Amrit, meaning nectar in English. The groundwater in the state of Punjab is highly contaminated with iron and the deadly arsenic. Exposure to arsenic from drinking water causes heart diseases, diabetes and may even cause death by cancer. <laughs> Obviously, nectar is indeed sweet. We resumed our journey traveling through rugged roads. मेरे स्कूल के साथ ही वाटर सप्लाई की टैंकी है इससे पहले जब ये प्यूरिफिकेशन नहीं लगा था तो बहुत बच्चे बीमार होते थे बच्चे वाटर बोतल घर से लेकर आते थे देयर आर नो डिजीजेस एट ऑल एंड सारे बहुत ही बढ़िया ने उन वाटर बोतल्स दी भी कोई जरूरत नहीं पै रही अठवे तक पानी आंदा बहुत बढ़िया पानी डंगर भी पींदे ने बंदे भी पींदे ने जानवर भी पींदे ने बहुत बढ़िया सुसरा पानी जांदा तो सारे बच्चे और हम स्टाफ भी खुद भी वही पानी पी रहे हैं और वो पानी काफी अच्छा है अपने घर के लिए लेकर जा रहा हूं वो उठे पाइपलाइन बची हुई है कि पानी आ रहा है अहीर पोर्ट भी कर ली बहुत ये दो टाइम लेकर जाते हैं People were emotional when they spoke about how these water purification plants had brought in drastic improvement in their lives and health. Main tujhe koi kuch mang sakni ha? Haan ji. Agar kisi din tusi is professor Pradeep ji nu milo, unna nu kehna main unna nu bahut bahut aseesan deniya ki 100 saal jeen. Unna ne waise bhi apne agle 10 janma vaste bathheriya aseesan te nek kiya jamma kar lettiyan. Oh my god. The periodic water quality test reports showed us that the amount of arsenic in water is untraceable. It exceeded WHO specifications. The plants are cleaned once every 15 days through a process called backwash. When the nanomaterials which absorb the impurities reach saturation capacity, the active materials are replaced. They are safely discharged and the state has arranged for this. Our joy at encountering a mountainous stretch on the way to Roper forced us to halt for a cup of hot spicy tea. Surprise! We saw the familiar water tank at the top of the tallest hillock in the area. We were inquisitive. हमारे गांव वालों को इतना अच्छा फिल्टर से भी अच्छा पानी मिला है सब पानी आरु से भी बढ़िया है. We then visited the largest plant in operation so far. at a village called Chaudhriwala. Here was a 1000 KLD plant delivering clean water to about 650 households to almost 4000 people, 70 liters per day per person. We were impressed. This set us thinking, if over 97 plants could be integrated along with water supply schemes, the government must be hyperactive too. We reached Chandigarh to talk to them. बहुत अच्छी योजनाएं चल रही हैं ताकि लोगों को अच्छी क्वालिटी का पीने का मेटल रहित पर जो पानी है मुहैया कराया जा सके और उसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए आईओटी योजना के जरिए उसको हम कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं और उसकी गुणवत्ता को चेक कर रहे हैं आई एम वेरी वेरी थैंकफुल टू द आईआईटी मद्रास वेयर बाई दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड ए टेक्नोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशन वेयर 
the heavy metals like iron like arsenic and others can be removed from the drinking water what was good was that the iit was also willing to work with us on changing the prototype that we had and they came out with a prototype of what is called the household uh, arsenic and iron removal purifier technology was based upon the nano material and it was a highly efficient technology which is adsorption based uh, nano materials are used for cleaning the water so intangible benefit of these things in the terms of health that's a direct impact uh, as a economic value over the life of the people these plants are quite compact with high arsenic removal efficiency as nano materials provide larger surface area we understood that the common man centric government is very proactive and keen to expand on what has already been done that was enough 17 days driving we took a flight to chennai to further quench our thirst for knowledge iit madras the best engineering institute in india for 7 years in a row beckons us the seat of life transforming research as we hang around to meet professor pradeep a padma shri awardee we take a glimpse of his laboratories science done here gets transformed to startups and products such as amrit with the help of iit madras research park the first university owned research park in the country all of a sudden someone assured us in it is now clear that we can address all contaminants of relevance in drinking water affordably and sustainably in india and anywhere else in the world although the models shown here are for arsenic and iron we have similar models available for fluoride uranium chromium mercury and others As we walk out of Professor Pradeep's office, we are in awe. Science, nanotechnology, infinitely transforming people's lives with water.